Welcome to part 33 of the Final Fantasy VII Remake. A lot of numbers today. Yeah. So, uh, things could be going a lot better. You think? Well, um, well, yeah, uh, shit happened, but it's happened now and we've got to get on with our mission, which in this case is heading underground. So what what is that phrase from Ghostbuster 2? Sometimes uh, bad things happen, shit's going to happen and who you're going to call. I, I thought I thought, I thought you were gonna say uh, sometimes you can't get rid of a bomb. Uh, I, th I, I think you mean something strange in the neighborhood. No, 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 no. He's specifically in Ghostbuster Two in the trials. Scene, yeah, he's uh, referring to the um, quote where Bill Murray remember. Where Murray says something that. like that. Uh, I'll check in the meantime. Mm. Hey guys, did you know? Did, did you know you can go to the shops of vending machines? Oh wait, half of them were all crushed. Um, well, let's check the other half then. Um, they might have closed. Well, dude, we saw that even in the fucking sewers or in the train graveyard, the the, the ghost kept the things alive. I believe, I believe I hate these recording glitches. Well, that happens to everyone, dude. You know, there's some irony where the most lively place is underground. <laughs> well, um, well, I can't really think of any uh, argument to that. So, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to enable the auto function on the weapons, prioritizing different methods, and basically because uh, I mean it's I mean using the uh, the upgrade the upgrade system you have in the game is good, but um, you know I don't want to keep doing that all the time. So putting leaving leaving it to the automatic stuff is a uh, is helps. Very well. There you go. The quote I was looking for is uh, at the trial scene where the prosecutor asked about at uh, Peter, the character played by Bill Murray, about the exclusivity, and he has to say this. Kitten, I think what I'm saying is that sometimes shit happens, someone has to deal with it, and who you're gonna call? Pretty there much. You go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wrong movie, please. <laughs> well, I had a Ghostbuster in it. <laughs> Actually, what company was behind the, the Casper movie? Sony Universal. Huh. So huh. we could be referencing uh, Ghostbusters like that. Well, uh, to be uh, fair, the, Ca the Casper movie literally has, uh, you know, Dan Aykroyd in Ghostbuster attire. In yeah, that. that's what I mean. Like, uh, like uh, hasn't uh, Ghostbuster always been under, you know, one of the Sony uh, subsidiaries? Well, uh, uh, not always. <laughs> Ghostbusters was made before mm. Okay, then. Basically, Ghostbusters is just one of many victims bought up by Sony. Well, it, but that, yeah, unnecessary. Like, people think that the whole Fox packaging that Disney bought is like these this new thing that happened, but uh, it happened constantly in recent well, times. I mean, at, least, I mean, at least Sony did, at least Sony wasn't its own movie studio before buying Fox. Companies buying other companies or studios has, has been a thing ever since companies and studios have existed. I, I guess it, I, it, I, I guess it's more noticeable now because not many left uh, have, re have left uh, remaining. Okay, okay, okay. Meaning that was... now we're we're approaching more and more about the monopoly, you know, scenarios. Yeah. Okay. It was a lot more noticeable when Disney bought Fox because Fox were like, you know, in like third place for like most uh, money I mean, making um... studio. So essentially, I mean... when, you, when you have first place essentially buying up third place, second place is pretty much boned, and we move ever so much closer to the monopoly. I mean, how more um, more recently, more recently, Hasbro's been in the habit of buying stuff more. I mean, they bought Power Rangers, and they recently bought Entertainment One, who owns, of all things, Peppa Pig. So, oh, well God. done. We're gonna, get, we're, gonna, we're gonna get that Peppa Pig Transformers crossover. <laughs> <laughs> no, Joke on you want. I'm, ex I'm full expecting an IDW Peppa Pig comic at this point. Uh being in continuity with the rest. All right, anyway, that would not surprise to be, me. To be more serious on the point. Uh, Let's see what remains of Sector 7. Not a whole lot. If you recall, yeah. Shinroi, uh, Wedge got crushed along with some cats. So yeah, Shinroi is uh, responsible for the murdering of cats. They're the mo the, who's the real monster? Yeah, he's all the train down. <laughs> and Wedge. <laughs> I'm not completely heartless. Alright, come on guys. Come on, man. Not completely. 
I do care uh, about the human who was also crushed. <laughs> come, on, come on, guys, don't worry. We've got Big Barrett here to help us. And Cloud too. Well, Tifa as well. Everyone's doing something. Yeah. See, if we all come together, we can help. We can all do oh. it together. If we We're all in this something. together? <laughs> no. Oh, good. We've managed yeah. to save Hope's mother. Well, unfortunately, well, unfortunately, well, I drove a mom's or talk, so proceeds yeah. to die well, five um, seconds later. Well, well, sure, yeah. um, if, if no one is, well, there, there are there are some people that aren't really all together right now. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Maybe you might recognize some of the bodies out there. Okay. Those, I guess. Well, <laughs> what's left of the bar? But what about Johnny? Is he okay? Um, well, not last we saw him, he was in Sector 6, so he's probably fine. Well, uh, does does Johnny die in the original game? No. No, he's once again, he's more of a Joker character than anything. But does he die? In Costa Souls, I, for, I forget if oh, he yeah, but, anything. Oh yeah, that's right, he's in Costa de Sol in the original. Yeah, it's that moment with Tifa. Which uh, sparkled a lot of fanfics too, but... Uh, I'm, I'm digressing. Alright. Okay, so, uh, Seventh Heaven, I've heard of that nice place. It's somewhere along this bit, and over there, and here. Um, and over there. there. And there's a chunk of it lodged into that building there. But hey, but hey, we get free beer! Yay! At the expense of so many people's lives. Again, yay! <laughs> Is what is what some arsehole will be going right now. By the way, this is a somber remix of Tifa Swim. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Mm. Like, we passed from hearing it in the original game once and very briefly, I don't remix oh, just most of, be, most of them to be sad. <laughs> oh, great. So yeah, the biggest victim of all, the bar. What 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 about all the alcohol? <laughs> Priorities. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 what's that sound? What? Kiddies. Oh. And uh, not leave not that bad rendered of a kitty actually. Yeah. Yeah. Again, it seems that uh, um, Square has managed to. Yeah, Take advantage better. of the Unreal Engine. Well, hashtag better than cats. Well, definitely better than the 13. <laughs> definitely better than the 13 2 cat. Or the, yeah, the dog. Sorry, I, I don't remember the cat. I only remember that dog. <laughs> there was a, there was a bad learner cat. Well, 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 the, well, the cat was from 13 2, sure. So even though it looked bad, it wouldn't look like as bad it as It didn't look dog like the dog. Like <laughs> because the dog, that looked like a fucking Nintendo 64 model. Like... Oh, look they at that! So the, derpy looking. the spot where Wedges was uh, has a hole in it. Mm. Have, mm. have you seen the Lightning Returns dog boobs? Mm, yes, I have. What do you think of it? Um, get that thing away from me, Ravi. Oh, so help me. Use <laughs> fire. No. Oh, look at that! Uh, it, it seems oh. it seems the rumor of something underground that we heard in chapter three may have been true after all. Uh, oh, oh snap. Well, that's the end of the Final Fantasy VII remake. What are your thoughts, guys? Um, yeah, seriously. Um, so yeah, it's time for an original chapter, which where Cloud stays for the most out of it. Yeah, we just control Barrett for the most part. Now it's, it's, it's time for Barrett to take over. Uh, uh, this is now the Barrett show. Mm -hmm. Also, this theme, particular theme you're hearing is it was used for one of the trailers, at least the battle theme of it, and for one of the themes that you get with the game. Yeah. Okay, one special thing you can, well, okay, there is one special mechanic you get throughout your section playing here as Barrett. Whenever you come across something that has that icon there, you press the square button and you can blast anything in your way, well, the specific thing in your way, to create a path for you. But first, mm -hmm. Barrett's got to go oh. to this conveniently undamaged um, vending machine and get some stuff. <laughs> That's the thing, though. This room is, for the most part, relatively intact. Sure, there's a lot of debris in it, 
but not a lot of damage inside of here. Almost like this was made in case of something like this. Yeah, like a safe rule. And also, and also wow, that that's, those seats are strong. Anyway, I checked the Jova. No, in the original game, technically, after the cost of the soul event, Johnny just disappeared. You don't know what happened to him. He was really that man of a character. Yeah, but, he had to go back to his own planet. But he does show up in On the Way to a Smile, episode 10, though, which of I think course. was one of the minor animated episodes. Oh, here's my favorite part of this mission. This whole place is full of boxes. You know, now Barrett doesn't have now Barrett doesn't really have any um reasons I can think of for him wanting to destroy boxes other than the stuff in them. Yoink. <laughs> yeah, I actually encourage. I mean, I would joke, but I encourage to do that because you get a lot of macro shards from that. Ato. When, when you're doing this chapter in hard mode. It's important to make uh, do good use of these boxes whenever you can return to these to the spot. Hey Tio. Yeah. Since we're talking about side stuff, I bet you're looking forward to tackling the travesty that is Final Fantasy VII: The Last Order. Oh God. You know an anime. Like I, I like the I like the animation for the most part. It's just bizarre in how they decided to tell. Basically, it leaves a, it's a short. Uh, anime, like not even a proper OVA, it's like our clocks are on 20, 30 minutes, I think, tops, that tells the last moments of Zack and what happened ultimately to Zack. Classic stuff, you know, one of the more important moments of Seven. So I get the idea of doing this kind of promotion stuff. The problem is how we decide to tell the story. True in tradition with the rest of the compilation, what happens in the Nibali accident is unique for these old these anime short too because when you know when child survives the step by step here of instead of actually stabbing him back and showcasing he manages to be bad as even without macro enhancements causing the downfall of Sephiroth, Sephiroth takes a good look at him and then commits suicide by jumping in the macro himself. Like, seriously, like, not only <laughs> not only does that rob... Why? It it's not like he's desperate, he does it with a smile on his face. Okay, okay, okay. Look at this. Not only does it rob Cloud of his awesome moment, but it's also one of the many things that devolves Sephiroth into being... Okay, here's the thing. Sephiroth was a magnificent bastard of a villain, yes, but the compilation elevates him to, like, this super sleuth at times who could possibly not have failed, like, at all. So, to the point where Final Order almost makes it seem like it was all part of his plan, when anyone who's played the original would tell you that, no, that was not Sephiroth's plan. In fact, that's one of, that was one of the unique things. Here was Sephiroth, the Superman of the world who literally got caught off guard and defeated by a runt who wasn't even considered good enough to get into Soldier. That was one of the crowning achievements of Seven. But no, in Final Order, we can't have good things. It's like, Christ Must almighty. Yeah. No, it's still, a... is it, uh, okay, but still, whatever, it was just a piece of, uh, it, 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 kind, it kind of not uh, hit me personally, but it came closer because uh, um, when I first time, I can't sure we actually got a proper anime based on it. Keep in mind at that time, I was watching stuff like Digimon and Monster Rancher, so I was more of a like of the idea of having these more and seven seemed to fit with the idea of having a more colorful shonen like anime adaptation instead of having to be look like uh, Cowboy Bebop or Wolf's Rain, for example. Uh, and basically, the closest thing I got was Last Order. Oh, <laughs> so. Boy. But thankfully, but at that point, I got I had already got over that. I'll go over it, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure if I four, I would have been, I would have had, you know, bad much more in a bad way. Can <laughs> but, you believe uh, how I... terrible it would have been if they had actually incorporated that perception of it into the seven compilation? Like, thank God. Well, that's the thing, Jova. Once again, the rest of the compilation does whatever the fuck you want because crisis. <laughs> Crisis Crisis, each should tell their own version of what happened in the Nipple Arm accident. According to Crisis Core, Genesis was there, and Zack had a more extensive fight in the underground before the sighting got stabbed in the in the upper levels of the reactor. While before Crisis tell that Tifa, instead of laying down after being stabbed by Seth, was also 
ambushed by a bunch of fucking dragons and being rescued by the Turks for some reason. Of so, course. And, and so having Lost Order being in canon with these discrepancies would have been nothing new, technically. And But the point is that... Uh, once again, the animation and the, the team behind Lost, Lost Order, it showed good things thanks to the Final Fantasy XV episodes, the Brotherhood episodes, and the episode Ardin prologue, you know, episode. So oh, Square, Square Enix... Well, Square Enix huh? is capable of, do, of producing a proper Final Fantasy anime of some kind. It's just that they're not good at it, I guess. Mm. It, it, it's a, well, there's a difference to, like, a lot... Uh, was made uh, years after the, the original game by in uh, didn't you even write that? I don't think he did. Um, I'm checking in the meantime just to be sure. Uh, whereas uh, whereas the the Brotherhood anime was produced around the same time that the game was still being made as well, it had a much more active role in it than than Taze and uh, Nojima would have in in Last Order because by I... that point they already had moved on to other projects. I mean, I think it just begs uh, the question. Okay. No, oh. Sto sto proper story by Nojima himself, storyboard artist Morio Azaka. Wait, 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 wait. Nojima himself was the story writer of Last Order? With, uh, with Tetsuya Nomura supervising director, quote-unquote. What? what the hell happened? I remember, Java, this was back when Square was going through their complete misunderstanding of Final Fantasy VII phase. Fortunately, they got over, but that's shown by this remake. Keep in mind that... Wow. Keep in mind that that's just for the adaptation. Square Square also tried to put two different uh, animes all together. One that essentially is a sort of a sequel to Final Fantasy V, but very loosely, mind you. That tries to be basically Diet Ghibli, because that's clearly what he wanted to be. Uh, it's harmless, technically. Sure, if you win, if you win this proper sequel to Final Fantasy V, it doesn't really make too much sense. I was gonna but ask. It, but it, it's not, like, the worst thing ever. Much less, unfortunately, is Final Fantasy Unlimited, a proper original series, mind you. Square wanted to make a proper original series that kept the themes of monsters, summons, some maybe enemies here and there to kill cameos, maybe the weapon, maybe some weapons, like actual wielding weapons, you know, stuff like that. The thing is that uh, either they didn't have that much budget or confidence, or the thing was like, was uh, busted by the executives. Because they were one season, which I, I like it. Uh, I like for the most part is a guilty pleasure, but it's very formulaic, <laughs> and the Final Fantasy elements are mostly there in the form of summons, which gotta say it's probably my part of my favorite part of each episode. <laughs> uh, but again, due to the constraints, we were able to produce only one season, meaning that the rest of was basically done and thinking a radio drama with only a couple of concept yeah. arts. And keep in mind, season one pretty much well concludes the, the arc. Um, still kind of ends with a lot of loose threads uh, to wrap up. Uh, is... uh, so it's a very anticlimactic. Yes, Jova? Is it as bad as what I've heard about Dragon Quest, your story? Um, well, n not exactly. Well, okay. Dra Dragon Quest Your Story is an adaptation first and foremost, so there's the idea that uh, what well, they did to change it, uh, may have pissed off fans of the original. Unlimited yeah. is a proper original product, uh, you know, no strings attached. Basically, the Dragon Quest Story is okay. basically an adaptation of Dragon Quest V story. Basically, for those who are not aware, Dragon Quest V is the most beloved uh, Dragon Quest game because it has the best story. Not necessarily the best cast, uh, I would argue Eleven's cast is better. But definitely the most creative uh, of the plots. Like it's the the best, uh, the, the best overall storyline. So that, would you call uh, it the Final you, Fantasy VI of Dragon Quest? Yeah, I guess you can put it like that. Yeah. But however, six had both the best story and the best cast in general, whereas five only has the best story. cast. It has a great cast. I'm gonna be wrong, but I do prefer Eleven's cast over fives. Anyway, so back to the um, whole your Dragon Quest your story debacle your, thing. Your, your story is classic Square Enix uh, adaptation tradition. Like, uh, oh dear. Basically, uh, it seems like Enix took cues from Square too, and basically 
completely misunderstand what Midran Quest Five story. Because the adaptation well, I, I know the I know, I, in that same style I, know well. the, I know the spoilers because uh, as soon as it got released in Japan, people warned the West about it. I did posted it on the SSMB and apparently Tornado, I think, which also seems to be a fan. Oh, either one one of the mods, I forgot exactly what user, but basically told me you know the opinion that uh, had about it and yeah it seems to match up because even if i haven't played the original game i kind of get the idea that the things they change are not exactly really you know uh pleasing for the fandom yeah because uh, i have heard nothing but hatred towards that movie well that's the thing Jov. from and what the, the, the consensus is that it's just the ending that um recontextualizes the entire product because until that point it seems to be true it skips a couple of things but it seems to be more straightforward as an annotation ah yes one of my favorite cases where an ending is so terrible so bad that oh, yeah it's pretty much what canonizes the whole thing is terrible Fucking what bugs. the giant bugs drove yeah don't you just hate it you're going along minding your own business when you fall down a giant hole and then you have to fight all these bloody Folks. But yeah, I will say this whole uh, this whole scene where you get to play as Barrett is a nice change of pace. Like, okay, there were some segments where you could play as Barrett in the main overworld. Granted, they were rare. Technically speaking, but... only one, Jova. Um, you could control Barrett doing the, the escape from Juno, which doesn't last too much. Uh, you control the um... rest of it. Uh... But I don't yeah, even he, know what he uh, dropped. Right, at least we got, well, we got, it was a bomb that got rid of the nest of those creatures. Yeah, yeah, that's what counts. So. But yeah, overall, it is nice to see Barrett actually get to reflect on stuff when, you know, he's all by himself. I wonder if we'll get more scenes like this. Heck, who knows, maybe we'll get a scene in, like, another part where we get to play as Vincent all on his own, or hell, Yuffie all on her own. N not counting the obvious well, power yeah, scott if there's one if there's one thing that this remake is showing is that uh, there are possibilities of having anyone you know having their own time to shine being fair game but, um, well that's the thing though i mean even 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 that front's not gone over well with some people <laughs> well again you can't please everyone not even that. Yeah, I'll, take, I'll, I'll, get take, I'll take this kind of complaint over the one where not everyone has their own time to shine. To be honest, I'll get sure um, I'll get more. I'll get more into that on the um, when when we when we do final thoughts and get the whole game story wrapped up. But I have I have I did put some on SSMB though that um, that has, well I'll just put, I'll, I'll put it simply about spoilers. I myself am really undecided on whether it's good or bad. I'll just have to wait and see what the other games after this well, do. Well, we're oh, not talking you... about the story. I'm talking about the idea of having, you know, sexual <coughs> the spotlight instead of another. But no, the point of that I wanted to make with all of this was that Square does have the potential to make great anime adaptations of any kind, to be honest. Whatever 3D CG animated or proper traditional anime. I, again, selfishly, I would probably ask a straightforward anime adaptation in the same vein that... Uh, uh, Oh god, I don't think there is a proper event. But I always view the thanks to the art books and all at least until seven you know well, I mean, we're having a proper anime aesthetic instead of being in the direction we took with the photorealism but I mean, uh, they've been yeah, having this they've, problem they've been having this problem with spirit with it. maybe square just aren't good at making stuff that isn't video games like... most definitely and I, I as much as i will it pains me to say that that's probably the yeah, you, 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 you gotta love you gotta love the irony here like a studio that pretty practically makes stuff to movie tier yet when they actually make the movies they have a pretty bad track record well, well, to, be, well, well to be fair but to be fair like i think i think no no game company can really make a good movie oh well uh, excuse me yeah uh, you, you you just fell into that uh, yeah actually. you really yeah. fell into that trap 
Well, 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 unfortunately, Pedro, that was one movie. What about the other one they made? Uh, I, can, so. I, well, I can name it Real Diva, the first Yoko Watch movie, the second Yoko Watch movie, the third Yoko Watch also, movie, the fourth Yoko Watch movie, the first in the Muslim 11 movie. I could keep I, going, I, but I won't. I, I, can, I, can only, um, I, can, I can only say about the first Yoko Watch movie and the later movie. I haven't, I haven't seen any of the others you just mentioned. Sure. The point oh, is I that don't. it's not impossible. Well, yeah, and not, not just that, Dweebs, uh, like, uh, uh, sorry, go on. It's not hard at all, Dweebs, you just need to have someone with a good vision and actually knows what they're doing, in this case, Hino, because uh, uh, the way, the reason the cross-media aspect, hold on, let me finish. Uh, the, the, go on. The cross-media, the reason the cross-media aspect works in level 5 is, bec and is because unlike Square Enix, mm -hmm. you see, I'm tying it in, uh, <laughs> unlike Square Enix, there's not a single person there overseeing everything Yes, I know. Kitazi and Nomura technically were supposed to, and even uh, uh, Nojima to a, to a less extent, were supposed to, you know, keep things, I guess, supposedly, but clearly they failed to do that. Well, uh, I do have a theory about that for recent times, but I want to save that for the final thoughts. So. Hell, uh, that's hell, 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 that's what was, that's what was so disappointing about um, about the Nino Kuni movie. I mean, it's one yeah, thing. Yeah. If, it's one thing that it's one thing if you keep. It's one thing if you haven't made, if you just never made a good movie before, but it's another thing entirely when you've proven that you can do something good and yet you just and yet you fuck it up. Anyway, keep in well, mind, then... keep in mind that I personally think it's still better than a lot of video game adaptations. Like well, even at it, even been, even at it's well true, but <laughs> it is it is it is a context that needs to be applied in my opinion because it would be just easy to dismiss it oh it's just a bad video game movie adaptation because with that statement you compare it to say to well, doing commander movie well, stuff like okay, that okay, okay. to be fair to you let me let me mention this let me mention this Jova. well tell in that case i'll throw at you the exact same argument you threw at me one i have better i have i expect more from level five and so should you yeah, true, true, true. Not, not only that, but, Tio, it kind of is what it is, a bad game adaptation. Sure, now, there may be certain semantics and technicalities to it, but it still failed to meet the mark. Anyway, going outside of Level 5, you know another company that's actually made good movies? Capcom. With their Resident Evil movies. Well, uh, the, the, um, the animated ones. The, specifically yeah. the animated well, ones. To be honest, Jova, I saw Vendetta recently. It's... Wait, 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 good. wait, 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 well, okay, except for Vendetta, but here's well, the thing. Well, okay, Jova, I, I will, I'll mention to you what I was I tried, wanted to mention these before. Are your shoulders tired? Because moving those goalposts must be tiring. Well, like I said, well, okay, I said that they've made good Resident Evil movies. They didn't say all their movies were good. But that's mm -hmm. the thing, though. Okay, Vendetta was made by a manga writer who, well, let's be quite honest, did not really know that much about Resident Evil. I, I forget what was the major drama. Uh, even so, well, that's, that's the thing, Jova. It's not so much of what the setting of the story of that plays is the execution in terms of what, how the characters behave. And I'm talking, yeah, that not too. Not talking about I mean physically. They keep, the idea, they keep the idea that... Uh, no, Dweebs, uh, Chris is not forcing Leon to have sex with his sister. But, uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's the... Like... Uh, the fact that the characters continue that weird trend that ever since uh, you know pretty much Resident Evil five, 6 but it's hard to start to have with having super over the top action where it wasn't needed oh uh, oh even, oh even oh even oh. the characters flip over shit constantly like it's devil may cry it's not tier, tier, tier. Spe then... special mention goes to that gunfight chris has with the main bad guy here where they're literally doing ring around the rosie while shooting their guns off like pretty much. Oh, yes. On the subject of um, you know, back to Square Enix release movies, um, I mean, I, I've got a pretty um, yeah. I'm, I can't say I've seen any of the Final Fantasy ones. The well, but, but I, not good. But, but you I, you're, you're talking is played with us with us once. Uh, just saying. Uh, oh yeah, King's Glaive, That was a thing. Well, films, not shows. Well, King's well, Glaive that, was oh, a oh, film. Oh, sorry, I got mixed up with that other one. But anyway. Um, but um, but I too have a mixed history with these Square films that I have seen. Hitman Agent Forty Seven was absolute dog shit. Well, I remember but again. I, I, what year was it made? Two thousand fifteen. So after the acquisition, yeah, yeah, after because Tomb Raider twenty fourteen was the reason. I did, okay. 
But I did, but I did enjoy, to an extent, I did enjoy the 2018 Tomb Raider film. And I enjoyed the first Tomb Raider film. Well, then, I've heard, heard it was basically the 2015 much. reboot. Uh, that, that Pretty happens. much. Uh, without, without the, um, without, without the gore that you guys love so much. <laughs> Well, well the, the, the thing is, uh, like what P Pedro did mention this beforehand, but uh, gore in itself is not really a problem. It's that it's applied out of context. Uh, like Tomb Raider is not a setting where you expect something like that to this happen. This is not God of War. I mean, or Dead Space. Like, like, Dead, Dead, Space, Dead Space is a horror setting, so it makes sense for it to be violent. Okay, in that. Well, Tomb well, Raider is like, like. Let me put it like this. Sure. They are the 2018 movie. Um, should should okay. I guess the stress should. You know, they might have other problems that you might I disagree wonder, with. Well, Luis, that raises the question. I wonder if it was intentional for the makers, or they just made it sure just so we could get the PG-13 rating and sell more tickets. Yeah. On that front, I, I don't. Argue, know. I'm not a fly on the wall in movie executives meetings. I but go argue, on. I would argue the third and eighth Pokemon movies. Those were good. I like those. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Pokemon has its fair share of good movies here and there. I, would I say can't those, I would say only those two personally, but yeah. Sure. There are some other good ones out there. It's just I can't remember them out the bat because there's so many. I liked um, I liked The Power of Us. Yeah, the yeah, Power of Us one. turned out good. I didn't care for that one, to be honest. Oh, it's, uh, it's one of the more recent ones, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah a couple of years ago. Yeah, 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 I'll agree with Dribs. That one actually I even, turned out I to be good. I even saw it in good. cinemas. I did not watch so that one in cinemas. So with chilling out on, on a bench week. I can also tell you, Theo, uh, oh. there was a Dragon Quest anime back in the 80s, and it wasn't good either. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't it the one based on the Shonen Jump manga, The, the, the Legend yes. of Dai? Yes. Because uh, Square, I think, is doing another attempt at that with another video game. Uh, so, based on that. So I have to win. And if you anime series. So guys, do you think this is the main reason why Disney are the ones taking the the, the reins on the live action Kingdom Hearts series? Yeah, that might be for the best. Yeah, because Square Enix has proven that they're not it's, capable. It's of just doing a rumor for now, but we'll have to see what happens. Well, assuming that it's real. Yeah. I, will, yeah. I would rather have Disney do it than Square, because Square, as we've just discussed, have a very questionable track record. With combine, these combine that with how overcomplicated the plot of Kingdom Hearts has become, and yeah, you can imagine. But uh, we'll see yeah. if Cloud and uh, sorry, if Cloud manages to reunite with Barrett and Tifa in the next part, maybe. Who knows? Yes. See you next part. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.